Alright, so here we have the new motor from Racer Star. This one's the BR2207S 1600 KV Green Edition. Uh, so I saw this one over at Banggood and I thought I ordered it. Uh, what caught my attention was the very low KV, 1600 KV. Since uh, these days 5S and 6S is becoming quite popular uh, when running 5 and 6 inch props. Uh, so high voltage is becoming uh, quite popular. Since the main advantage of running high voltage is that there's less voltage sag. So throughout the discharge cycle of the battery, uh, you're able to maintain uh, the voltage of each cell much higher than when you run uh, 4S. Uh, so it comes in the usual orange box from Banggood. And uh, pretty uh, simplistic, just a regular cardboard box and wrapped in bubble wrap. They just give you the motor, a lock nut, night lock and uh, just some screws and uh, there's the motor as you can see uh, the typical lime green from Racer Star uh, so the specs on the Banggood uh, product page don't mention much about uh, exactly what type of aluminum they use so they don't say if it's 7075 or 6061 so most likely it is 6061 I've read uh, from other Racer Star motors that uh, it's best to use all four mounting screws because it's kind of soft there so you don't want to mess up uh, the base by just using two screws so best to use all four and uh, they do mention that they're using NMB bearings Japanese bearings so hopefully that's the case because those are fairly good uh, but I guess we'll find out uh, soon enough when people start using them uh, we'll see how durable those bearings are it's got a a few of the newer features uh, they're saying that it's stainless steel uh, shaft uh, stainless uh, is not magnetic so so it is stainless steel because it's not magnetic so that's good um, hopefully it is hardened steel and it is hollow all the way through and as you can see they're, they're still using a circ clip there to retain the shaft so they're not using a uh, screw which to use the uh, uh, just an allen screw there so it's much easier to remove a lot of people are preferring that nowadays and still the conventional design where they have the full base of the motor so uh, they haven't migrated to the naked bottom yet so that's all the features that they're mentioning on the website so they don't mention anything special and uh, as you can see very short uh, wire leads that they give you these are about 80 millimeters worth of wire so kind of stingy there I wish they they just made them a little bit longer so that you can reach center mounted ESCs and no need to splice in there uh, saves time and uh, it'll look much better on your builds uh, so with that much wire let's see what the motor weighs uh, that comes in at 35.1 uh, grams so if you cut to 50 you probably end up losing half a gram so it's around 34.6 or so so not that bad it's not exactly light uh, most of the 2207s this and even some of the low budget motors will weigh in at up around 32 grams or so 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 this was about two grams heavier not too bad. I mean, it's still a low budget motor. These are about 1050 when you buy three or more. So that's not uh, not a huge weight penalty there. So uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, take out that uh, circlip and I'll put it on the magnifying glass so we can see uh, detail of the stator and magnets. All right, so here's the stator. And as you can see there, that's a four by nine by four bearing. Uh, so that's good. They went with the uh, beefy bearing. Those are known to be more durable and uh, it's much preferred by uh, most people flying FPV that uh, like to abuse their motors. So bigger bearing lasts longer. And it uh, uh, looks like 0.2 millimeter lamination. So that's pretty much standard these days. Uh, in some cases they use 0.15 or so and uh, that is seven millimeters so nominal height on the stator there and the windings seem to be multi-strand 
Uh, so uh, not that bad. Uh, they look okay. Here's the bell assembly. One piece shaft, completely hollow shaft. And there's no ridge on the bell ring that I can feel. Uh, but it looks like they're using plenty of uh, epoxy there. So I don't think you know that that'll be a problem with the magnets getting loose and uh, looks like these are just standard rectangular blocky magnets and oh, oh yeah one more thing bearings uh, they're saying they're NMB bearings which are n known to be pretty decent uh, there's no markings on the bearings so it's it's hard to uh, uh, to know which exactly which type of bearings but they do feel pretty tight uh, sometimes I've seen some really bad bearings one time I bought bearings from eBay just to see how how good they were and they were very crappy I'll have to dig them up one of these days and show them to you guys uh, but anyways if you were to do that on that eBay bearing it, it would wobble you, I mean you can see the uh, the inner race just wobbly when you uh, when you tapped it like that it was very quite visible so this one doesn't uh, doesn't move at all there's almost no discernible sideways motion so so that's a good sign uh, that means the bear the tolerances on the bearings is pretty good so it's a very tight bearing uh, so that's a good sign so there it seems they're using uh, just from first impression uh, you know I can't confirm for sure but it, it looks like they're using pretty decent bearings so but anyways we'll find out soon enough when people start using these 2207s um, I'm sure we'll see reports if uh, in fact the bearings are good or bad because that's the first thing to go uh, you start start to get wobbly uh, motors or you know a lot of vibrations on your quad so we'll see how good those bearings are hopefully they're good because um, at this price point 1050 per motor that's that's pretty pretty good you know that, that that's a low budget motor that you can use for uh, for a low budget build and if it's got uh, decent power you know then uh, that's all you need you know uh, cheap to replace so okay that's uh, the overview of the motor we'll put this back together and see how it does on the thrust stand I'll try this on 5S and 6S since the uh, because of the low KV uh, I I'd imagine that's you know that that's the be that's gonna be the best match on five and six s most likely on six s, uh, sixteen hundred kV that's a little bit on the low side to run five s. All right, uh, let's see how it does.
All right, so let's look at the thrust test results for this Racer Star motor, BR2207, 1600 kV. This motor measure right at the rated kV value of 1600 as measured by the thrust stand. So I went ahead and tested on 4S, 5S, and 6S. Uh, the usual props, a couple of 5 inch props here, and a couple of 6 inch, and a couple of 7 inch props. So the 5 inch on 5S, uh, there's nothing to be too excited about. 6 inch on 5S, we can see the usual thrust values that we're used to from other motors of higher kV. On 6S, this motor starts to wake up on 5 inch and 6 inch props. As you can see, these two blade Genfan 5045BN on 6S starting to get lively there. As we get more aggressive on the props, uh, 6S starts to become more attractive. Here uh, we can see the dial C5046 making uh, 1435 grams at a very reasonable 25.5 amps uh, so that's one of the advantage of uh, 6s uh, we'll be seeing lower amps and what that allows is the battery pack to maintain its voltage throughout the discharge cycle so there's a lot less voltage sag so that's one of the main advantages of running 6s but you'll have to size the lipo accordingly because uh, if you use the same capacity let's say you're using 1500 on 4s so if you go to 1500 on 6s of course it's going to be two extra cells and that's going to make it heavier so use a smaller capacity lipo uh, for the higher voltage pack so instead of using 1500 uh, they'll be using like a 1200 or sometimes even like a 1000 or 1100. Uh, so, okay, so then moving on to the 6045 on 6S, 1700 grams, so that's pretty respectable. Apps are quite manageable, 30.7, uh, so any 30 amp PSC will be fine for that. And uh, keep in mind, those are static thrust uh, numbers, so in actual flight, uh, that amp number is going to go down quite a lot. I don't have a sense of what the amps are going to be for 6S. I don't know how much down uh, they'll go. So like on 4S, I know it's uh, usually about 35% lower. But on 6S, I don't know if, if that uh, rule applies. It could be less. It, uh, then on to the 6040, another 6-inch prop, 1700 grams at 28.8. Then onto the 7 inch props, I tested those on 4S and 5S. I didn't go 6S on those because I thought it would be a little bit too much load for the motor. But uh, looking at these numbers, it might be able to run them on 6S, but not sure. I can't uh, say for sure. Uh, so if you're adventurous enough to try it, proceed with caution. Make sure you check uh, motor temps. So with the HQ7045 on 4S, uh, a pretty decent number here 1306 at a very respectable 27 amps so that should make a fairly efficient uh, setup on 5s of course a little bit higher thrust 1578 at 32.9 uh, then the genfan flash 7042 this prop is showing a little bit higher amps than the 7045 but remember that these props are designed to be used when flying forward on static they always show a little bit higher amps so pretty interesting results out of this motor as you can see on five inch is uh, gonna be uh, fairly mellow so on six inch props that's when it starts to show some good thrust and on seven inch could be very useful on seven inch i think uh, seven inch and 4s uh, so i think as long as those bearings uh, turn out to be good and they hold up well after abuse then this motor could be a very good option but only way to find out is to abuse it you know after you know crashing and using it uh, with the props uh, with the larger props and see if any if the motor gets loose or if it stays tight so that's that's the only way to find out unfortunately here on, on the thrust stand there's not that much uh, side load so i can't tell if the bearings are going to be good over the long run or if they're going to crap out right away but from first impression it looks pretty decent so it's going to be interesting to see how this motor ages after some abuse i'll be checking out uh, reports from people to see how this motor uh, turns out to be so okay hope you find the data useful uh, thank you for watching and until the next video